so hey guys welcome back to my channel guys see this weather has been very discouraging to do an outdoor vlog this year's weather especially has mood swings this minute is windy the next minute is sunny another day is snowing but i've decided that today you know what we move i've got to wear this youtuber tag with pride <laughs> finally so guys i'm going to be showing you different dormitories the buildings the rooms and everything and i there is one of the reasons for this apart from the fact that i want to do an outdoor vlog is that i've i realized that some of you still have this stereotype about dormitories especially when i'm telling you to apply for dormitories a typical example someone reached out to me and he's coming for a short program in japan from america right yes and he was asking for how i am um, the pricing system of the private accommodation and i was like fam what are you doing with private accommodation ask the school for dormitories ask them for pictures and he was like dormitories and i'm like oh my god people still have this thing about dormitories the dormitories in japan is really very beautiful and you can live there so i'll be showing you four different dormitories guys two are um single man single man room that's how it's called um single man in the sense that you're alone you don't have dependents you don't have your spouse with you family member or whatever with you and the fun fact about the single man room is that you actually don't share the room most ones that you know i've seen you don't share the room you may share facilities but you don't share the room i'm saying this because i've seen a lot of dumb tours and you get to share rooms sometimes and then i'll also be showing you two couples room or will i say family room and the family room yes you heard right if you especially if you're an international student they make provision for people who may want their spouse to join them or their family member to join them so that one is like a mini flat don't worry i'll show you everything like a mini flat and all that guys today is very windy i'm just asking myself who sent me a message but i'll take you around the world i'll take you places where you've never ever been before are you ready all right let's hit the streets all of you that have been praying for me to stand up from this chair finally oh your prayer has worked <music> in the up unit there is a staircase which is a staircase you're seeing there that takes them to their units okay so let's go in they use card they use a card system and this is the bell then each of them have their post office so when you come inside this is how it looks um, is actually how it looks it has an umbrella and where they keep their shoes this is a light sensor it owns on its own now each this is how the rooms are they give you the eight different people and oh hello. hello yeah so different people different rooms so this is the this is the shared facility which is the toilet um, yeah this is me <laughs> so this is where the brush you have two brushing facilities and then this is the toilet that the eight people um share this is how the toilet looks the tissues are supplied for them 
and and all that so this is how he looks to toilet to the veranda and yeah so this is the bathroom and the bathroom side you have like two washing machines for usage and then this is the bathroom this is how each bathroom looks it's just like a shower very simple bathroom just a shower and all that you can close while you're taking your shower and the light is on so two bathrooms for the for each unit how the kitchen looks it gives you like a living room vibe there is um tv you know heat cooker ih cooker sink microwave dining like vibes you know the fridge is supposed to be shared cupboard and this is where their supplies is what they give them every month and they also have things they share like iron vacuum cleaner and all that so you open the room obviously the light is off so this is what the room looks like uh, on all the lights that i can on so the basic thing other every other thing is added by each occupant the basic thing is there is a wardrobe there is this fridge i think is the occupant's own then there is table um reading lamp this is the wi-fi that's the wi-fi router then the table has um it's like a locker like table then mattress you know mattress heater lights and curtains so this is basically how each room looks like in the whole unit both the down unit and the up unit so going to now this is quite bigger than the other one and it is built specifically for international students actually and it's a new facility you get me so this is how the outside looks it is really big it is really big fun fact is that this was actually my former dormitory and this particular dormitory is very beautiful and has both the single man room and the couple's room i'll show you both of them in a jiffy so this is actually how the you know the floors look like for every floor every floor is very similar very neat the dormitory is very neat actually in this particular dormitory when i was here they usually have people come around and clean.
Guys, let me show you the facility that the one man room they share. So for every floor, they have a similar room like this. They share um, the washing machine and the dryer. The major difference with this one and the previous washing machine is that unlike the previous one that is completely free in the first dormitory, this one uses coin. So the coin activates the washing. So you pay. Now this is actually the kitchen. The kitchen here is really big and fine and it's for the floor for the private the single man room in the floor. It has a sink, the IH cooker, which is what they use to cook here, is really spacious and very neat. Yeah. So I usually like this place. This is like this place still gives you the whole living room vibe. You know, you can sit down here and eat. You know, they have sockets. You can charge your phone. They have rice cooker. They have the television. They have, yeah. They also have a very good view. You can you can actually sit down here with your guests and have lunch. We don't want to eat in your room. It's actually very spacious and very neat. And there's also like a microwave and, um, you know, electric kettle that you can use. Everybody can share. That's if you don't have a personal one in your room already, you can use this one. It's actually for sharing. And then there's a cleaning aid box, you know, where they have vacuum cleaner and, um, you know, everything they can also share if they don't have personal one in their room. Okay, now let me sh let me show you what the private. Now let me show you what the room looks like, what the one man room looks like. So let's go there. Now one thing I like about this room is this particular room is they use a a card system to on the light so when once you the light is when once you put the the card once you put the card the light automatically comes up but without the card there is no light in the room so you switch off the lights by removing the card so this is how the room actually looks like very simple but you know very simple but nice it has the bed and then it has the normal japan really likes this table and desk thing this particular room comes with a fridge, um, a big fridge. You have the, you have a lot of cupboards in this particular dormitory. This this dormitory has a lot of cupboards and then the wardrobe that you can actually also use. Yeah, this is the wardrobe. It's very big, bigger than the other one. So now let me sh let's see the toilets and the bathroom. Now, the major difference again with the this one and the previous private room is um, the previous uh, single man room is that this one also has the bathroom inside the room. So. This, this dormitory doesn't, the, the occupants don't have to share the toilet and bathroom when they are. So this is how it looks. Just a simple shower system, but has the bathtub. So now, guys, let's go to the couple's room. This is the first couple's room that you'll be seeing. But sorry, guys, um, the person I had for this particular, um, for this particular room said she had moved out. So she just sent me the video, the old video she has. So it's portrait, but so it's not actually um, landscape, it's portrait. So, but this is how it looks. It comes with, they don't share anything for the couple's room. You have the kitchen. Um, they have a kitchen inside the room. They have the fridge, you know, very big fridge in the room. Then it also comes with like the dining and like a mini living room kind of thing. The whole normal Japan chair and decks and reading lamp, cupboards, 
and all that. They don't share anything. It's like it gives you this one man room vibe of house. Then this is actually the toilet and bathroom. You know, has a bathtub, shower, and all that that comes with the bathroom. It also comes with a washing machine inside the house and like a laundry cupboard. And then these are actually still cupboards where, um, you know, lockers where you can keep your shoes and every other thing you want. And this is how the room looks. So it actually has a double bed that you can either separate out or join together. But the room is actually not that small. So now, guys, let's head over to the next dormitory. we are going to the last dormitory and i kind of did this vlog in a way that it looks like a mini tour not just the dormitory tour so that you can really see how the city also looks like in the evening time so this is how it looks this fourth dormitory is purely for family people so you have to have a family like you have to be a couple or something so i'm going to show you what inside looks like in a jiffy so guys let's go in um this is a staircase it's currently already looking like it's snowing this is another dormitory in front of it so this is a family house so you don't expect anything less of a family house <laughs> yeah so this is the washing machine that comes with the house i think no this is dryer this one is a dryer and then this is a washing machine and this is the parlor guys this is like the parlor and this is the dining and this is like the kitchen slash um you know kitchen kitchen shop and this is a corridor for hanging your baby stuff this room is so big and nice i don't want to disturb the baby so this is the room this is the baby stuff like it's so big like it's actually a family room they put family in view that's me over there again your favorite youtuber <laughs> and you know reading decks reading table um oh god the room is so big i'm in love oh i'm in love with this room the toilet guys this is the toilet side like it's really a family app it's really a family dormitory this is the toilet sink tissue everything you need in a toilet yeah so yep 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 i'm so excited guys so 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 excited so excited 
so guys this is the fourth and last dormitory so i showed you four dormitories guys you don't forget to turn your notification bell for more content like this i showed you four dormitories and two a uh, single room that's single room and to take into consideration the fact that you're a married person or you're a couple. So the reason for this video, guys, is especially for those of you that when I tell you somebody when I when I tell you that have you tried reaching out to your school, whichever school, or it doesn't have to be whichever school in Japan, I will tell you, have you ever have you tried reaching out to your school and ask them for the dormitory? You will be like, dormitory, guys. The dormitories are not read are not bad. They are actually not bad. You can ask them for dormitories, ask them for pictures, ask them for websites, and then you go and see what each dormitory costs and all what is inclusive, what is not inclusive. Do you want family house? Do you not want family house? Guys, I have to make it back home. <laughs> it's already late and it started snowing, guys. Oh my gosh. But I'm actually excited I got to do this because I also got to meet with people that I haven't met in a long while. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button. Sh drop a comment. I want to uh, see guys. I'm very particular about this. So I want to see your comments. What do you think in all honesty about the dormitories in Japan? And I also want to know which other video ideas you want me to do, especially as regards outdoor vlogs. And I also want to know um, if you have thought if your notification bell is on. Tell me in the comment section by saying notification. Tell me in the comment section by saying notification gang gang. Do you understand? See you next time on Chilo Talks. Bye for now, guys.